Hey, welcome back. It's Jason Walter here. If you read the headlines recently, you know about the strong competition amongst home buyers in the United States right now. We're seeing strong home buyer demand and bidding wars due to very low housing inventory levels. For example, compared to one year ago, total housing inventory or the number of houses available for sale is down 21.1% in the United States, yet sales rose 8.7% from a year ago. Therefore, because housing inventory is low and sales have increased, this is causing bidding wars in many markets across the U.S. It's even worse in California because housing inventory is down 47.7% compared to a year ago as homebuyer demand is exceeding inventory. Even with housing inventory in California being about half as much as it was compared to a year ago, sales have increased 8.4% compared to one year ago. Because buyer demand is exceeding the number of houses available for sale, houses are selling very quickly. So for example, in the United States, houses are selling on average one week less when compared to one year ago. Now it's about 22 days to sell a house, and one year ago it was 29 days. Because it's so challenging to find a house and then get your offer accepted, I thought it'd be helpful to share my personal tips and tricks on how to get your offer accepted. And by the way, I've been a realtor for about eight years in Sacramento, California. But before that, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that. That helps boost this video out to others on YouTube. My first tip on how to get an offer accepted in today's competitive real estate market is to ask your real estate agent for a referral of a great loan officer. And I say this because real estate agents often have a multi-year relationship with their preferred lender or their preferred loan officer that they know, like, and trust, and that will do a great job for you. Um, this can give you a competitive advantage, especially over using an online lender, for example. My second tip is have your real estate agent contact the seller's agent or the listing agent. And this is very, very important because you wanna know what the seller is looking for in an offer. Um, do they need a time to move after the close of escrow? So do they need a rent back period for 30 or 60 days? Or are they looking for a faster close of escrow, for example? You won't know until you ask. For example, if a seller's mortgage payment is $5,000 per month and they want to live in the house for a month or two after the close of escrow, which basically means the sale has finalized, if they want to live in the house for one or two months, then as a buyer, you could offer to have them live in the house free for one or two months. So that would have the same effect of increasing the purchase price by five dollars or $10,000. My third recommendation would be to write a letter to the seller. So this actually brings some emotion behind your offer because the seller is not going to know anything about you. So I'd recommend to write a short letter to the seller that basically explains a little bit about yourself and also more importantly, why you want to buy the house. I've had this work many times before where the seller just outright accepts the offer because my client wrote such a great letter to the seller. I've uh, read some letters to the sellers where brought tears to your eyes because of their story. So that really invokes some emotion behind the offer and I would highly recommend you do this. My fourth tip on how to get your offer accepted is to send your offer via an Amazon drone. <laughs> All right, absolutely horrible joke, moving on. Okay, tip number five, and that would be to offer shortened contingency periods and potentially a shortened close of escrow period or the time it takes to sell the house if the seller is looking to sell the house very quickly. So let me briefly touch on what I mean by contingencies. As a home buyer, you have contingencies in place in order to back out and get your deposit back in case things go awry. So for example, you have an inspection contingency, an appraisal contingency, and a loan contingency. The inspection contingency is in place so you can do any inspections you want at the house and then ask the seller for a request for repairs. If you find any big issues with the house during your inspections, then they have the opportunity to back out if you have an inspection contingency in place. The appraisal contingency is in place because your lender will want to know that you're in contract for at least what the house is worth. So they're gonna be ordering an independent third-party appraiser go to the house in order to determine the value of the property. The loan contingency is in place in order to get your final loan approval from your lender. This typically takes about two to three weeks. So why am I mentioning this? And this is because the seller wants to minimize the uncertainties with your offer. 
In other words, if you can offer a shortened contingency period, meaning you offer a shortened period for your inspections, the appraisal, as well as the loan approval, that's going to decrease the uncertainty of your offer and the seller is going to know whether or not you're going to be moving forward with purchasing the house. And by the way, your real estate agent should be contacting your loan officer in order to find out how many days they need for the appraisal period, the loan approval period, as well as the close of escrow period or the amount of time it takes to sell the house. Those are all time periods that are basically determined by the lender. Another tip I have for you is that as a buyer, you can offer to pay for some of the closing costs. So some of those closing costs would be title, escrow, uh, city and county transfer taxes, as well as a home warranty, for example. The reason why I mention this is because if you offer to pay for some of those closing costs that the seller normally pays for, that's gonna net more to the seller and it's gonna make your offer look more attractive. My seventh recommendation on how to get your offer accepted is to offer a higher deposit amount. And deposit, I mean your earnest money deposit or your EMD. This is due in California within three days of offer acceptance. So if you offer a higher deposit amount, this shows the seller you are eager to buy the house. Home sellers obviously want to sell their house for a high price, but they also want to select an offer from a home buyer that they feel is not going to back out because they did not get their loan approved or they got cold feet. My last tip for you is to have your loan officer contact the listing agent right after your agent submits their offer. And your agent should be initiating this anyways, but your loan officer should be contacting the listing agent and tell them how great you are from a lending standpoint and that you are gonna get a final loan approval. If you do absolutely everything in this video, does this guarantee that you're gonna get an offer acceptance on a house? Absolutely not, but it certainly will increase your chances of getting an offer acceptance. When representing home sellers in the greater Sacramento area, I have definitely had experiences with bad real estate agents who have submitted offers without even contacting me at all. I always tell people that the barriers of entry into the real estate industry are very, very low, meaning it's very easy to get a job as a real estate agent and the licensing requirements is very, very easy, especially when you compare it to getting your CPA, for example. So my bonus tip for you is to hire a great real estate agent in your area that you know, like, and trust, and that is experienced. Or of course, you could ask your friends and family for a referral of a great real estate agent in your area. Buying a house is a very, very big deal, so surround yourself with a solid team. Please subscribe to this channel. I'll keep you updated with new developments. Also, hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that. That helps support this channel. You also can follow me on Instagram. I'm Sacramento Realtor. Hope you have an awesome day and look forward to seeing you in the next video.